Paul didn't win an Emmy for that. I just don't know. Well, season 19 of the Prep Pigskin Report is approaching fast. In fact, it's right on the heels of the Lunar Eclipse. First show is slated for Friday, August 25th, 10.30 p.m. right here on the birthplace of the PPRKUSI. So let's get our training camp going. We start at Castle Park during the offseason. Hans Graham stepping down. No reason was given. Athletic Director Bernard Ansa Labrer will take over this season on an interim basis. We're expecting to we're expecting to compete every game. We're expecting to be improved. We are going to be we're going to be a better football team this year. Dedicate ourselves. It's, it all starts in the classroom as well. You know, we all got to make sure we have our great straight so we be able to be out here and play. We're putting work. Uh, we train really hard, and we expect to do a lot of things this season. Down the street at Chula Vista High School, the Spartans are changing things up under first-year head coach Howard Bannister. Chula Vista will look to improve upon that 5-6 and six record from a year ago. You know, I had a great time when I was at Otay Ranch. Uh, very grateful to have an opportunity to coach over there under Coach Christensen. But now that I'm here, uh, this is an amazing experience, and I'm glad to be back home. This is where I started as a teacher. I mean, we've all been together since freshman year. I mean, we should, I mean, we got a new coaching system, but we all, we're all united. We're a family. Our d is looking real good. I mean, we're big, we're physical, we're fast. Up north at La Costa Canyon High School, the Mavs finishing a uh, Last season with a 6-6 six six record, making the D1 semifinals. This season, they have plenty of seasoned vets returning. None more important than their front five protecting the quarterback. This brotherhood's different. You know, in the past couple years, the teams I played on, especially the sophomore, we weren't very tight. But this team, I mean, it's not just we don't hang out during public practice. It's during, it's like we eat together, we go hang out together, we go to the beach together, we do everything. And it's always football, you know. It's, it's always one-on-one -on -one football. Over at Rancho Bernardo High School, the Broncos finishing 2016 with an 11-1 record, a Palomar League title, and a trip to the Open Division semifinals. Coach McCoy will have a lot of new players at key positions, but still expects success. Well, I know on this team, I can count on every one of my teammates to always be there for me, not just on the field, but off the field. We really trust each other to the point where we know we're going to do each other's, do our jobs, and then we can focus on what we have to do to win. If we do the little things right, I think we can beat any team, no matter how big they are. We head west on the 56. Cathedral Catholic is fresh off a CIF state championship. The Dons went 15 0, including a comfort behind victory to win the Division 1A state title. It might be a little young, but Cathedral still has plenty of talent and will no doubt reach for the top of the mountain once again. It's just like you know what they're thinking and you trust them. It's like you don't like look across and you don't think, oh, that person's going to mess up. You know that they got your back, so you just focus on what you have to do. And once, if everyone just does what they have to do, you win championships. That's one of the biggest things that we focus on over here is the brotherhood. It's like a family over here. We know each and every one. No pressure at all. We know what we have to do this season and follow the game plan. At Mira Mesa High School, the Young Marauders are looking for their first division title since 2009. This team will be tested during the regular season with games against powerhouse programs like Cathedral, Madison, and Saints. This year we have a lot more team chemistry. Now we all have like experience and we're just going to be better mentally, physically. We have a very good uh, team bond, a lot of good chemistry, and we work really hard. We're, we were young last year, so we're starting to grow a little bit together, and we have a better team bond. We just work better together, and we just have one goal we'll set in mind, just to make it to CIF. On the Mesa, Brian Dutcher with a busy day on Monday. Three-star point guard Jordan Campbell verbally committing to SDSU. Jordan hails from Victorville, California, where he plays at Adelanto High. The senior to be averaging nearly 30 points a game for the Saints, taking him all the way to the Southern Section Finals. As a junior, he'll sign his letter of intent in November. But wait, there's more. The Aztecs weren't done there. Also adding a 6'6 wing Matt Mitchell out of Riverside. Mitchell had originally committed to Cal State Fullerton. Had a huge senior season averaging over 25 points a game and leading Roosevelt to a state D1 title. Fullerton let him out of his commitment and he won't have to wait long to move on to the Mesa. He'll be enrolling for the fall semester and be eligible for the upcoming season. Speaking of hoops, 2005 Silver Pigskin winner Abraham Muhazi, along with attorney King Amanpour and the proud owners of the ABA San Diego Kings, the two announcing that Lincoln head coach Jess, Jeff Harper Harris will 
both be coach and GM. The entire conversation available at KUSA.com. Here's an extra. What focus on very heavily is getting involved in the community. That's something that I feel that uh, almost every sports franchise should be doing, and it's something that myself, King Amapur, Coach Jeff, that uh, we all agree that one thing that we need to do is get involved. And my, my, my saying is win in the community before we win in the gym. But uh, Matt Gilson is going to be... Uh, <laughs> Uh, look at this. He's got a good delivery. Uh, what, do you think Matt, who uh, I think was all league for, at West Hills for several years, do you like his? Do you like your chances, or does is hey, he can, make, he, can he defend? <laughs> <laughs> or do you just want to cut him now? Yeah, I mean, if he, <laughs> and he can juggle. Oh. Looks like he's good for the community. That's a hand check, though, realistically. So can he defend? That's a, <laughs> I don't think he can I cover like a tree.